Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Ahabitu fillah Huwa the salaf al-salih Ridwan alayhi alayhim As Imam Salih bin Fasan he said when he continued on in his treaties he said what is intended by the term salaf al-salih is the first generation of this nation. They were the companions of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from amongst the Muhajirun, meaning those who migrated from Mecca, and the Ansar, those who were present in Al Medina. Allah the Glorious and Mighty mentioned concerning them Wasabakuna la awalun min al Muhajirin wal Ansar, Walladina Tabuum bi ihsan radiallahu anhum wa radu an. وَعَدَّ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِ مِنْ تَحْتِ الْأَنْهَارِ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا أَبَدًا ذَلِكَ الْفَوْزُ الْعَظِيمِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says في كتاب الكريم And the first to embrace Islam from the Muhajirun, those who migrated from Mecca to Medina, and the Ansar, and also those who followed them exactly in faith. Allah is pleased with them as they are well pleased with him. He has prepared for them gardens underneath which rivers flow to dwell therein forever. And that is the supreme success. In fact, that is the supreme success that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared for Ahli Iman and for the Sabaqoon, Al Awwaloon min al Muhajirin wal Ansar, meaning the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anu majma'een, and those, those who, from the Sahaba who migrated from Mecca to Medina. And Ahl Medina who welcomed them. Radiallahu ta'ala majma'een. And this illustrates for us, Ahabat Allah, the importance of not just following the madhab of the Salaf, but loving the, the, the Salaf. Radiallahu ta'ala majma'een. Because some people implicitly and explicitly detest the companions of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They hate them, they hate their madhab, they hate what they're upon. And we see these people and their activities all around the world and that they kill and plot to kill Muslims. For example, in Yemen, they've literally taken over the country. Now, the Hothiyun, the Hothiyin, the, uh, the Shia rebel group, which are Rafida and probably a mix and likewise, due to the efforts of Iran as a government in spending on those who support their creed and their minhaj, Hezbollah and the plundering that they do, and all the other Shia militias that are supported, those people who is very explicitly as pillars of creed detest the Salaf al-Salih, detest the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majmeen, make takfir of them, curse them, accuse Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, Umm al-Mu'mineen, Ummana radiallahu ta'ala anha, they accuse her of zina, adultery, being an adulteress, a liar, and a disbeliever, wa'iyadhin billah, min thalika, and all the evil that they spread, ameen ya rabbil alameen. The Shaykh then said, this verse is referring to those who migrated from Mecca. Then Allah stated concerning those who were present in Al-Medina, وَالَّذِينَ تَبَوَّوا الْدَارُ وَالْإِمَانِ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ يُحِبُّونَ مِنْ حَاجِرَ إِلَيْهِمْ وَلَا يَجِدُونَ فِي صُدُورِهِمْ حَاجَةً مِمَّا أُوتُوا وَيُؤْثِرُونَ عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ وَلَوْ كَانَ بِهِمْ خَصَاصًا وَمَنْ يُقَّ شُحَّ نَفْسِهِ فَأُولَيْكَ هُمْ الْمُفْلِحُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem about uh, Ahl al-Medina and those who before them had homes in al-Medina and had adopted the faith love those who immigrate to them and have no jealousy in their breasts for, for that which they had been given and give them preference over themselves even though they were in need of that 
and whosoever is saved from his own covetousness, such are they who will be the successful. Allahu Akbar. So success, Ahabat Tifillah, is wanting for your brother what you want for yourself. The Prophet Sallallahu said, لا يحب لي أخي لا يؤمن أهدكم حتى يحب لي أخيه ما يحب لي نفسي that one of you doesn't truly believe until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. So this is not something that's restricted to those who uh, are of a particular color or a particular nationality or a particular tribe. But rather, this is for Ahli Iman. A mu'min. In general, it's for Ahli Iman. Loving Ahli Iman. And this was the example of our salaf. This was the example of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. So we should love one another. We should ta'awun ala birr wa taqwa. Kama amarana rabbuna subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us that we should cooperate in righteousness, in piety, God fearfulness. You know, calling one another to good. And calling one another and exhorting one another to refrain from evil. When you see your brother and sister going astray, call them back to the good. This is the madhab of the salaf. This is what the salaf did. They corrected one another. Amr bi ma'ruf wa nahi munkar. They commanded to the good and they forbid the evil. So when we see our brothers and sisters being caught up in these contemporary times with uh, following the news of ISIS or ISIL or Daesh or whatever you want to call them or whatever they call themselves or Boko Haram or Al-Shabaab or all of these deviant groups who you khalif a sunnah, you khalif madhab a salaf, who differ with the madhab of the salaf, who go against the madhab of the salaf, whose madhab is based on takfir and tafjir and, 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 and killing and spreading blood, spreading blood and spreading fitna around the world. That you advise your brothers. Refrain from that. Don't speak about those issues. Run from those issues. Run from those people who are part of that. No matter how it may glisten in your eyes and they may beautify what they're doing and say that it's jihad fi sabilillah. When instead, perhaps they will be calling you to jihad fi sabili shaitan. That they will be calling you to the jihad of the shaitan. To uh, strive in the cause of the shaitan in fitna, in killing, in slaughtering, in doing everything which goes against the shara, and then trying to justify it in the name of Islam. This is not the madhab of the salaf. And the salaf, the salafiyun are bari'un min hadha, wa bara'a. The salafis are free from that type of wickedness. Salafia has nothing to do with what these groups are upon, their extremeness, their, uh, their extremeness in takfir and their wanton violence and fitna that they spread throughout the earth. So the example for us is the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een and following them in righteousness. Then the Shaykh said, next are those who came after and sought knowledge from them from the following generation. Then those who followed them from the best of generation, which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, uh, concerning them, khayrun nas, uh, khayrakum, the Prophet ﷺ said, The best of you is my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. The narrator said, I do not know if he mentioned two generations after his generation or three. There, the Prophet, his companions, and the following two generations, meaning, a distinguished time is called the time of the best generation. So this time of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in, and the, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and the Sahaba, and the following two generations, this is referred to the time of the best generations, and the time of the Salaf of this Ummah, the Salaf of Salih, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. These are the Salaf of this nation, which the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam praised when he said, khayrakum, the best of you is my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. Then the Sheikh said, therefore they are the example for this nation. And their methodology is what this nation should adhere to in terms of belief, dealings, character, and in all affairs. Their methodology is taken from the book of Allah and the Sunnah because they were close to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the time of revelation. 
they took directly from the Messenger وسلم, and thus they are the best generation and their methodology is the best methodology. It is for this reason that the Muslims are diligent in learning their methodology so that they can adhere to it. And because it is not possible to tread their path except after having knowledge, knowing the path itself, learning it and acting upon it. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with good and forgive our evil and bless us to be on the madhab of the Salaf of this Ummah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayk. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika na ushirika bika wa ana'alamu astaghfiru fulayl ma'ala'alamu.